Hey guys, it's Raymond, and today we're going to be talking about weight reduction and how much weight can be shed from your E9X BMW. In my example, we shed a few hundred pounds. In other words, enough to make an E93 weigh as much as its less ugly counterpart. Unfortunately, that's all I can offer. Weight reduction makes more of a difference than you might expect. So in today's video, we're going to see how many pounds can be saved, which might come off a little confusing to my UK audience and etc. We're not talking about money, we're talking about weight. You know, American units of measurements. In other words, we're going to see how many AR-15s can be saved per pigskin football. We're going to gut the interior of my piece of shit 2006 E90 BMW 325i. This was filmed over a year ago, and this basically settled the transformation of my car into a race car that it truly is. With the F1-inspired engine. That is the N52. Now, being serious for just a second... Doing this did make a big difference on the car's ability to get up and go. In my experience, it was basically the difference between having your mom in the car versus not having your mom in the car. But let me warn you, this isn't for the faint of heart because it is going to significantly increase noise and volume inside of your car. But if you're not a coward who likes a nice, quiet, luxurious riding experience inside of what is truly an F1 race car at heart, let's be honest, it doesn't make any sense, then this is for you. So to get into it, this is somewhat of a continuation of one of my first videos that a lot of you probably know me from, where I did some kind of rudimentary weight reduction, um, but we're going to start it off even easier than that. So let's start very simple, right? All right, so open your center console right now and take out all those coins. That's a lot of money. And that's a lot of weight, too, because we're not talking about money. We're talking about weight, all right? So so let's get into it. All right, so to give you some context, this is a 2006 rear-wheel drive manual E90-325i with the very base model specification. There's no iDrive. There's manual adjustment seats. There's nothing that could add much weight to it, just base stereo and everything like that, so it really doesn't weigh too much to begin with. Now, looking at the title, it says it has an original curb weight of 3,285 pounds, which isn't very much to begin with, but we're going to see how much we can drop by the end of this. Now, this isn't exactly a tutorial. It's kind of just showing you what I took out of the car um, and how easy it is to do. It's especially easy when you don't give a shit and you're, you're, breaking, you're not afraid to break things as it's coming out. Uh, because, let me tell you, my interior was not exactly in the best shape. Uh, I had just, <laughs> I had just finished filming, uh, the, the luxury car video. So everything was, was filthy and soaking wet, as you might see in some of these clips. Um, but, uh, the interior was, has been trashed. Anyways, not, not because of me, but, uh... Absolutely trash, so I, I didn't care about breaking things. It all went to the trash, so... Anyways, enjoy this compilation, and we'll see you at the scales.
So as you can see, most of the interior trim, mostly from the rear back, has been stripped. Some of the things that were done off of camera were the trim around front seat belts. And then a couple years before, I removed some of the trim that's in the trunk, as well as the insulation that's on the bottom side of the hood. Also, there's a muffler delete, so keep that in mind. So pretty much everything behind the driver's seats is completely stripped, including the seat belt buckles and tensioners, which do have quite a bit of weight. I wanted to keep the front still kind of cozy. I like having the carpets up front to keep my shoes dry because on a rainy day, it's not so nice having a slippery clutch pedal or a brake pedal. You could probably also notice that the headliner is sagging, but at the time I was kind of just too lazy to remove it. So anyways, now it's time to bring it to the scale. <laughs> The woman told me, uh, you can't park here, and uh, she was surprised when I said I actually want to weigh my car, so I'm going to go and pay for it, get the ticket, and we'll see how much the car weighs. Alright, so the results are in, and the total weight is 3,020 pounds. So as you guys can see, the car weighs just about 3,000 pounds without me in the vehicle. Kind of hard to believe, but stripping all the interior, all the plastic crap, as Scotty Kilmer would say, shaved about 260 pounds. And honestly, in, that, in my opinion, it's being pretty modest. The whole front end is intact, aside from the center console and all the stereo equipment, but if you really wanted to go all out, you could strip the headliner, you could strip the front end, I'm sure that would be quite a lot. Uh, they also sell sunroof delete panels, uh, which you can... Delete your sunroof and save about 40 to 50 pounds off the very top of your car. There's other things like you can remove heat shields from within the engine bay through the transmission tunnel. You can remove all the plastic under trays, the fender liners, etc. Another thing that people commonly do is get a lightweight battery. But for me, it's kind of out of my budget. Don't really care. Just a few pounds. Um, also, the crash bars are the same dimension as the M3 front and rear crash bars as far as I am aware but that shaves a few pounds as well plenty more options you can do as you guys know i practice weight reduction on a daily basis i never put gas in my cars and you guys fucking hate it but you gotta pay to play as all the 335 guys say well i'm no athlete so fuck it you might as well just delete the whole engine that'll save a whole lot of weight in the front end i'm sure so anyway screw you have a good one thanks for watching bye